in in your years, what's been like a couple of things you learned from like scaling up in a market that's growing fast or say not big, you kind of want to be with the wave. It's very hard to create a new wave, but it's very easy to ride once, right? And 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 I think the and that's why I love like college students. I think the one of the things you've seen is whatever college students are doing now is usually what the wave's gonna be five years from now. Like usually the early adopters of AI and chat GPT is like college kids. I think that that's a predicament of the future. And uh, uh, I don't know who it is, but there's someone who says like, um, the reason that they did not invest in AR, VR was because it wasn't popular amongst college kids. Like it was in college students were not, Facebook is a great example of like starting colleges. Um, so talking about scaling up particularly, I feel that if there's a rate wave you're writing it, try to just go go for it. You know, like I think there's a lot of there's a there's 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 a lot of misinformation about startups. The, the misinformation that I've seen is it's wrong in both places. I feel that when you're a, when you are working on an idea, there's a there's a lot of money available for you because now now these can access to capital easy. There's incubators, accelerators, there's famous people who want to back on the right? And in order, you can raise a lot of money, you can have a lot of people. And the challenge that happens is then you're not, you're not moving fast.